It's uh, the Geek Beat. We have a Geek Singular with us. Uh, Bert is what? Gallivanting in Japan or somewhere. That's right. Having a That's good time. Right. Ryan Ozawa with us. We're talking about the iPhone 6. First of all, you were way up front in that line. Well, it was good to pre-order. It was hard to get through the store, so I was lucky, I would say. You have the big one, the yes, iPlus 6. the iPhone 6 Plus. Now, let's talk about hardware first. What, what have we got here in our hands with these new phones? Well, the iPhone 6, I think, is really the perfect phone for almost everybody. But, of course, I'm a weirdo, and so I like the <laughs> 6 Plus. Um, but I have learned that my little girly hands do struggle <laughs> with something this size. What do you mean, like with your thumb trying right. to reach all the... Well, okay. so even though they do have, like, the, the reachability mode, which Where brings slides everything, everything down. down. Okay, yeah. But as you can see, my little baby thumb <laughs> can't still can't reach, reach anything over so here. So that's tough. But you're right. still happy with it because it's got some features the regular 6 doesn't have, right? Yeah, so I will say that if you like um, doing video, it has mm -hmm. optical image stabilization. Mm -hmm. It takes better low light photos. It has a much bigger battery. This mm -hmm. thing lasts all day. When I go to bed, it's still at 30%. Wow. And of course, you have the bigger screen. So right. you can get see more if you watch a lot of video. I'm turning 40, so, <laughs> you know, maybe I might need things bigger. And, and speaking of uh, the, the camera, and the, there's a time lapse feature, which is kind of new, right? That's right, that's right. So even if you don't get the new iPhone, iOS 8 also came out. It upgrades older phones as well. I wouldn't upgrade a 4S. It's a little slow. But mm. you can get features like time lapse. The slow motion is fantastic. I do have good blackmail material because <laughs> at Ala Moana, Ramsey Wharton right. was dancing. I got right. her in really oh, you got it. Okay. slow motion. We'll talk later about that. <laughs> now, a lot of talk today about the bending thing. I mean, if you put it in your back pocket and you sit on it, it's, it's bending for some people. For some people. Now, it is a metal phone. And Anodized aluminum and metal bends. Now, plastic phones would crack, so right. you have to decide which is better for you, but it hasn't been only the iPhone that does it. I would say that because it is the largest and flattest phone that Apple has ever made, that it's something you have to worry about. If you keep it in your front pocket, you might indeed get a flex in it, mm -hmm. and so I would probably choose to keep it someplace else. Mm -hmm. When I put it in my shirt pocket, though, it kind of looks like a pocket protector. Right. I don't know. <laughs> or your, even your back pocket, probably, if you sit on it, it would it Yeah, if you sit on bend, it, it yeah. would bend. Now, uh, it's the biggest phone that Apple has put out, but Samsung has kind of been at this for a little while. Right, and they've been really good about running ads saying, hey, Apple, welcome to 2011, <laughs> right? They're releasing now the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, which, as you can tell, is the fourth generation of giant phones. And I would say on specs, on the chip, on the resolution of the screen, even the battery size, it is higher and bigger and, for some people, better than the iPhone 5. And it, comes, it has a stylus, plus. if that's something you feel more comfortable in manipulating the phone, that's something that they would have. Yeah, it has yeah. a, you can write on it, you mm -hmm. can definitely put two screens on screen. Apple does that a little bit, but for people who like Android, I would mm -hmm. say that's a really good choice. Well, it's Ryan Ozawa. You guys are going on the radio tonight? That's right. Well, we went on location at Windward Community College. We're talking about making basically medicines out of common backyard weeds. Oh. <laughs> That's the Bite Marks Cafe. That's on Hawaii Public Radio 89.3, and it's 5 o'clock tonight. That's right. Thanks so much, Ryan, for being with us. We appreciate it very much. Every uh, week or every whenever we need them, they're here, the geeks and the geek beat on Sunrise. It'll continue for your Wednesday in just a couple of minutes. Go, Come. Byron. Go, Byron. Uh-oh. <laughs> and Ryan. Come on.